You know, people ask, Sephardim in particular I'm talking about now, we have a lot, we're blessed, Baruch Hashem, with a lot of great hachamim. Who should we follow? I tell them very simply, you should follow the one who is closest to your, your ways, the ways of your forefathers. But all the Sephardim were the same. There are certain minhagim here and there that are different. And I think that a person should follow those minhagim of his forefathers, whatever his background is. Whichever hacham he follows, when he knows specific minhagim to be different, he should follow those. Because it's very, very important. Shema bini musar mecha. Always follow your forefathers', forefathers footsteps. However, who is the hacham in recent times who really, really understood the path of the Sephardim. What is that path? The Sephardim followed Maran Zal, Maran Yosef Karo, author of the Shulchan Aruch. But Sephardim also followed the Arizal, which was the Kabbalah. And the Sephardi way was always this marriage of Peshat, the simple understanding, and the Kabbalah, the Sod. And there was nobody who was able to blend the two in such a magical fashion as Hacham Yosef Hayim, Allah Shalom, the Ben Ishai. So therefore, it is my humble opinion that a Sephardi who wants to keep the origin, original ways of his forefather, it behooves him to follow the Ben Ishai and those Hachamim today who follow in his footsteps. Then they ask about Eres Israel. What should it be in the land of Israel? Because they say in the land of Israel, people come from all over. Well, that's the same here. It's the same the world over. But in Israel, who were the two great Sephardim or two great luminaries that Sephardim followed and became part of their way of life? Again, they both lived together at the same time in Sephard, though one was older than the other. And we're talking again about Maran Yosef Karo, Allah wa Shalom, and the Ariza. And they both lived at the same time or overlapped. And again, they both were from the land of Israel. And who was the one who was able to blend their teachings together in a beautiful way for us to understand in accordance with the way of all the Sephardi, Hachamim, and, and, and people of different backgrounds? Again, I'm not talking about the different minhagim here and there that some people have. We're not talking about those. But the overall halakha, which is the same, was Hacham Yosef Haim Alawa Shalom, the Ben Ishai. So my opinion, People can disagree. My humble opinion is that it, it really behooves us if we want to do it the way our parents did it, our grandparents and great-grandparents did it, we should follow Hacham Yosef Haim, the Ben Ishai, and those Hachamim today who follow in his footsteps.